Hey, what's up, y'all? I've been thinking through openness uh, as one of the values of Scrum, but it's also one that I really connected to uh, before I knew about Scrum and Agile. Um, Openness and transparency. I've seen a lot of companies um, burn their employees out because a lack of transparency, because a lack of openness. Um, And that's usually generated by fear, fear of um, someone stepping above or stepping out of line or doing what you don't want them to. Um, I think that's that can be super toxic in companies. Anyway, the reason that uh, openness and transparency came to mind right now, I was thinking through what I've been up to the last couple of days on social media. Um, as I'm looking for a scrum position, uh, a scrum job, scrum master, product owner, um, the route that I've taken is a little bit um, from Gary V, a little bit from a webinar uh, that I attended a couple weeks ago, and it is uh, using social media to make connections. Um, we are in a world where networking um, outweighs a good resume. Um, now, if you if you put this is going on way longer than I thought it would. If you put uh, the right words and the right phrasing inside your resume, then when you send it off to companies, the the software, the AI software that looks through it um, is going to pass your resume along to the people uh, to read your resume. Um, but if you don't have the right words, the keywords and the phrasing, it gets shut down pretty quickly. Um, and that's why in today's age, I think for a majority of jobs, at least, it is more about networking than it is about a good resume. Um, Because the networking bypasses that that resume gatekeeper, the AI software. Um, So what I've been doing is networking. And how do you network during COVID? Um, I can't go out to meetups. I can't go out to bars. I can't go chat with people um, face-to-face or go to uh, social events. So I'm going to online meetups, um, and that's great. Uh, A lot of Zooms, a lot of webinars, a lot of that kind of stuff. However, there's still not that one-to-one connection being made. Um, So I am going through, and if you are uh, someone that I've reached out to recently, here's what I'm doing uh, out in the open. I've reached out to people who I see are in positions that I want to be in um, for the companies that I want to work for with the titles I want to work for. Reach out to them on LinkedIn, um, however I can get a hold of them, and just a quick, hey, I would love to have 15 minutes of advice from you. Um, and one, that's a networking thing, right? I get in front of them. They see what I'm doing. They see who I am. They see my personality. Um, but two, uh, it's good advice, right? Someone is where you want to be. Ask them how to get there. Ask them what the next step is. So it, it, it is turned into a lot of good conversation so far, but hasn't turned into like a job per se um, yet. But uh, I know that this works because I did this um, 15 years ago. Um, uh less than that. 2009, I was in Los Angeles, right at the brink of LinkedIn, and reached out to a ton of animation companies. I was super into like hand-drawn animation or stop-motion animation, wanted to to cut my teeth on that, um, and reached out to one of them was the Kyoto Brothers, um, the guys who just did Alien Xmas, um, and they did uh, Team America, and they did um, the intro to Elf, the like stop the the stop motion animation stuff, um, brilliant guys, geniuses in their field, um, and I just reached out to him on LinkedIn and I said, "Hey, I'm looking for an internship. Can we talk?" Um, and I ended up interning with them for the summer. Um, fantastic opportunities made just by asking. And I will tell you, there are a lot of people who I've reached out to, you know, this week. Um, on on LinkedIn and whatnot, and I haven't gotten responses, or I haven't gotten the responses that I wanted, um, and that's been like that's been a little bit of a, like hit to my ego, right? I set up this system, I know what I'm doing, I know like what I'm looking for, but 
you know, it doesn't happen. It doesn't work the way that I want it to. It's been a hit to my ego. Um, and I've, I've had to like let that slide off my back. Um, and it's not easy. Um, but knowing that that's coming beforehand makes it easier, right? I can't expect every person who I reach out to or every person that I ask to give me time. Um, they don't know me. They don't know what I do. They don't know who I am. Um, I can't expect everyone to give me time to give me that opportunity, but, uh, it's worked so far enough people have responded, um, that it's been worth my time. Uh, if you're someone out there watching this who, uh, did not respond or responded negatively to that, uh, approach, I'm sorry. Like, I'm not trying to spam your inbox. I'm not trying to sell you stuff. Um, but it's, it's the way that I know to make networking in this time, um, and to get my face in front of people because, uh, I am my best, uh, tool to sell myself. Um, anyway, so all about transparency and letting you know what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. Um, I think that transparency is key in, uh, scrum for one agile for two business and life. Um, I'm not going to be sharing all of my personal details, uh, <laughs> on social media, but I am going to be as open as I can about uh, what I'm doing, how I'm doing things, um, and why these things are so important to me. All right. Thanks.